Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what I call my mid-month tune-up. So this reading is just to give you guys like a kind of like a beeline of kind of like where you are. So in case you want to kind of change some things or maybe kind of go in a little bit more, kind of like pull back. This is the reading that you want to watch to find out what you should do with that. So uh, without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, 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 show me cards I need to see, what kind of energy are my Virgos dealing with, what kind of energy are my Virgos dealing with at this time, what kind of energy are my Virgos dealing with at this current moment, what kind of energy are my Virgos dealing with during this current moment in time. Got it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, Virgos. Okay, Virgos. Equal give and take. Equal give and take. You're dealing with someone. You're dealing with some energies at the moment um, from an individual where they want there to be an equal give and take here for sure. So they're looking to have an equal give and take here. So looking for a bit of moderation uh, and looking to do a lot of 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 of, um, of sharing back and forth with ideas and feelings and hopes of that matter. So, but but that that's cool. But the interesting part here is this is an X. This is an X. Okay. This is an X you're dealing with. Okay. Um, yeah, this is an X you're dealing with right now. And uh, that's really, really, really interesting because uh, um, there we, we have we have long term commitment. We have possible children. So we're dealing with the Ten of Cups aspect here. Um, there, there's there's this sense of a wish fulfillment coming on here as well. Okay, long term commitment, family, that type of situation. So whatever was happening, you, you guys have kind of maybe kind of worked things out a little bit here. And uh, things are kind of moving in a more long-term direction. But that being said here, we also, we have the chariot card here. So I don't know if it was you. I don't know if it was them. But someone took control of the situation. And now they're guiding to a more healthy, long-term, long-lasting situation. Okay, so it seems like whatever kind of uh, issues that you guys had, you kind of worked them out and it, things are really beginning to um, solidify at this particular point in time. In addition here, we have the High Priestess card. So there is a great amount of intuition that was used for this situation. So you didn't just kind of stumble into this thing. This is something that was kind of... Uh, you came to a, re a realization that this is something that you wanted to, wanted to pursue um, on an internal level too. This is something that you, you probably um, was mauling over a little bit for a little bit. You were thinking about this for a little bit, and you're like, you know what? Let's kind of let, let's let's kind of see let's see where this thing goes, and and things are really beginning to turn around for the better. Okay, so someone again could have been one of you, the magician card. Again, not only the cherry cart moving, you know, someone took the reins to guide things in the direction they wanted to go into, but also manifesting that magician to kind of lead the way. So it was something that was physically done to make things pop off a certain way, but there was also a sense of desire and will that kind of forged these two converged and kind of forced this thing to happen together. Okay, so that's, okay, now this individual that we're talking about here, King of Swords, we're talking about a potential uh, air sign individual here. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And now this, again, um, this air sign individual, again, this person makes very wise decisions when it comes uh, to making the hard choices. Now, the reason why this is interesting is because, again, this is an, this is the next situation. And, you know... It was, it was quite possibly, it was a very hard choice to make to get back with an ex for a, more of a long-term situation. And so this air sign individuals made, made the determination that, you know what? I want to go for it. 
and that's exactly what they've decided to do. So they, they've made the difficult decision um, to make this thing work and last. And, and, and thus far, it's moving in a very positive direction. So with that being said, okay, let's see. What do they secretly want to tell you? What does this what does this air sign individual secretly want to tell you? What does this air sign individual secretly want to tell you? What is what does this air sign individual secretly want to tell you? What does this air sign individual secretly want to tell you? What does this air sign individual secretly want to tell you? Let me give it three shuffles here. Make sure I'm really getting it getting it in here. <clears throat> One more. Okay. All right, feels good. So I was the guy. I had. I had. I want to make sure that I'm really feeling. I'm. It's really popping. I just don't want to be pulling cards into my ass here. Okay. Ooh. All right. What do they secretly want to tell you? Well, number one. They secretly want to tell you that we got the devil card here. And then what they secretly want to tell you in terms of this situation is that they are aware that um, you guys had a very toxic situation before. They're aware that you guys had a toxic situation before. Again, the toxicity could have been some kind of opioid situation, some kind of alcoholism, or it could just been overall just a fucked up situation where there you guys just didn't gel and they are aware they simply want to tell you that they are aware um uh that it was toxic okay and you know uh I'm, I'm getting a sense here also that you were the one that walked away here they also want to tell you uh, and, and probably the reason things are moving in this positive direction uh anyway is because you probably already know this. This situation is possibly something that has already taken place, and even and and even even further along, even more uh, um, um, revelations are going to be made between you and your ex, as far as the depth of 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 the realization that they had about how fucked up things were. Okay, and they knew they were mainly responsible for it. In addition, here we have the Eight of Pentacles, which also they want you to know secretly want you to know that hey. Not only are they working on themselves, but they're also uh, physically working on getting their finances together and also getting themselves. So they're working on themselves and they're also working on their finances. Okay. Um, and again, these are things that they want to tell you, but they're kind of not telling you. All right. But with that being said here, in this particular case, you don't, you're, you're, you're seeing it, you're witnessing it. Okay. Um, and so that's a good thing. In addition here, we have... Strength card, spiritual strength, spiritual spiritual strength, spiritual passion, that sort of thing. Um, uh, 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 again, so that, again, there there was a, a sense of um, there there was a sense of of passion that has been reignited within them, and also from a more of a, of a spiritual type of, of of connection that they that they're feeling about this relationship. And I'll tell you why that's the case. We got the hermit card here because there's also a lot of deep soul searching and reflection that they've done with themselves okay because this would not even be possible if they hadn't done the inner work that they needed to do on themselves okay none of none of none of this would even be possible okay uh now with, with that being said okay with that being with that being the case here we finally we have the five of swords and so um They are with this with this newfound sense of soul searching and reflection. The Five of Swords says, "You know what? They're willing to give this thing a shot and make it work, and it's off to a great start." Okay, uh, so they're willing to fight for it. They're willing to fight for it to see where it goes. But if it doesn't work, then they're willing to walk away. They're, go they're, they're going to fight for it. They're willing to, you know, roll up their sleeves and get it in. But if shit don't work out, then their maturity and the healing that they needed to do, they've done. And now they're going to be able to kind of walk away, you know. 
and possibly even at the end of all this, even end up being friends if it doesn't work out with you guys. So they're willing to fight for the relationship aspect of it, but they're definitely willing to, um, they're really, really definitely looking to put, to put in the work to do this. Um, <clears throat> and finally here, uh, we got the sixth, again, the sixth of cups, um, to let you know that, hey, um, the reconnection with, you know, they're looking back on this, the ex looking back on the relationship that they had with you finally. So that kind of look, they were looking back at it, thinking about um, reconnecting with someone from their past. So it's secretly, again, this has been something that they've been thinking about for, for a little bit here. Okay. Um, so this is, this is not, this is something that they, again, with the, with the her, with the hermit card here, um, this is something that they have been thinking about for quite some time. This is an accidental. Um, and and it, again, it takes time to, um, when, when someone is as toxic uh, as they were, it, it takes time. You have to do some, some inner healing um, that needs to be done. And they, and they want you to know that they've done that. So, okay, there, so then there's that. So with that being said, what's the $25,000 question is, um, <clears throat> what's the best What's the highest possible outcome of the connection with this individual? What is the highest? What is the best highest outcome of this particular situation? What is the highest possible outcome of this particular situation? What is the highest possible outcome of this particular situation? What is the highest possible outcome of this particular situation? What is the highest possible outcome of this particular situation? What's the highest possible outcome of this particular situation? Interesting. Well, <clears throat> with that being said, <clears throat> got to call like I see it, guys. Got to call like I see it. I'm going to call it like I see it. The highest possible outcome of this situation is going to be, I drew, drew three cards here. The first is Ten of Pentacles. Long-term commitment. Let me open this up a little bit. There we go. Long-term commitment. Uh, a legacy being formed here, a legacy, long-term commitment, legacy, uh, building something that's solid, substantial, that's going to, you know, going to last for a little bit, okay? And to, you know, not just with you guys, but past you guys. We got the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. <clears throat> so, you know, there's, a, there's definitely a sense of attraction that's there, you know, the terms of wanting to be that individual, like sweep you off your feet. So they're definitely going to be this sense of, you know, uh, uh, of whining and dining and that type of thing is going to happen. But what's, you know, it's iffy. We got the two of pentacles. Okay. So this is a situation here where, um, it could go either way. It's still, it's still iffy. It's still, eh, it can still go either way. I mean, you're off to a good start, but there's going to be, have to be a couple more things here that are really pretty much going to have to be in place so we can be, so, so, you know, so that you guys can reach your highest possible potential. So the legacy aspect is definitely in the cards there. You know, the whining and dining and, and that type of situation that's definitely going to be a part of the situation, you know, being, be, you know, being fly and all that kind of stuff. That's all in the cards. But this two of pentacles energy here about, you know, this, this whole work life balance situation, you know, the two of you being able to balance your, your energies and working together. And that's, that's a little bit more iffy. All right. And that's the best high, that's the highest possible outcome of this situation for this for, you know, for the second half of the month here. So, there's still, in other words, there's still work that has to be done. All right? So, with that being said, let's see what additional information spirits want to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information the spirits want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirits want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the want to give before I shut this thing down? <clears throat> oh, this son doesn't know what it wants to do, huh? 
So, recognition. You're definitely, um, you know, the 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 the, the, the recognition. Your ex is going to need that recognition that they, you know, you're going to have to recognize. It'd be decent to recognize the, the achievements that they've made, how far that they've come from realizing they, they were such a toxic personality. Um, you know, and the fact that they were able to recognize that is very important. It's very, very important because that means that, you know, there's a sense of maturity, a sense of growth here. So that's always good. Even if things don't work exactly work out between you guys you know, you should you should really recognize the fact that wow, you come a long way. All right. Um, with that being said, nurture yourself. Okay. So that also means, in conjunction with giving them the recognition that hey, listen, I'm glad you've come a long way. Nurture yourself. Okay. But like, oh wait a minute. Okay. Also, um, investing time in yourself. Um, you know, being able to, 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 you know, keep your energies up. If, if that individual's energy is, is, even though they've come a long way, the memory, like mu muscle memory of the, of the toxicity, um, that could cause, like, your energy to kind of get fucked up. And that's what you want to be careful about. If you can forgive them and move past it and grow, good for you. That's what's up. If you can't make the acknowledgement, Give them the recognition, but like, thanks, we're cool, but I got to go over here and you can continue your journey over there. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason to be enemies about it. You know, uh, they have, things have come full circle for them, so they are growing, they are nurturing. Hopefully you guys can continue that journey together, but if you can't, there's no reason to be followed by it, Okay. But nurture yourself also. Take care of yourself. Self-healing, self-recognition is very important. And even if you guys end up do moving on this journey together, still, always nurture yourself, maintain your own energy because you never know. Things may start slipping a little bit or things may not start slipping. But it's always good because no one's going to love you more than you love yourself. Always remember that. Someone can be head over heels in love with you. That's cool. But you know what? At the end of the day, you got to love you. All right? Love them, but love you too. All right? So with that being said, I'm going to shut this bad boy down. Um, <clears throat> this is my when, this is a uh, new spread. I'm going to be doing, uh, it's going to be a regular on with my extra turns, my, my weeklies. This is going to be a regular thing now. Um, my mid, uh, uh, my tune-up uh, spreads here. Hopefully you guys liked it. If this resonated with you, fantastic. Feel free to get a personal reading. I'll leave all the links below. If it didn't resonate with you, hey, that's cool too. You still may want to get a personal reading. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.